Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the Graves plugin. This plugin is a simple yet super customizable Graves plugin. When an entity such as a player dies, it spawns in graves in which the items and levels of that player or entity is stored. Players are then able to retrieve whatever the entity had in their inventory from these graves. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab and search for graves. It's this one with the grave icon here. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can download it from the plugin page and upload it into your plugins folder manually. To show you how the plugin works, pay close attention to my inventory and my experience levels. Whenever I die on the server, a grave spawns and all of the items and the levels are stored inside it. As you can see, by default there is a hologram with some information on top. If you want, you can actually make it so that your head appears instead of this grave right here. This can be done in the config of the plugin, and I'll show you how to do that later. Now, to retrieve the items, you can either break or just right click it and take the items you want as well as all the levels. And that's basically it. It's a very simple plugin, but there's a lot you can customize, such as who's able to get graves upon death. You can lock these graves as well, so only a certain player can access them. You can even enable particles around these graves. Please know that all the commands and permissions are found on the plugin page. Now, let's go take a look at the config. Locate the config file in your plugins folder right here. Near the top, you are able to choose which world the graves are allowed to spawn in. Going down, you can customize how long the graves stay for before breaking and disappearing, whether you want the graves to be a player head, and if you do, then you need to change the grave head skin option here. As you can see, there are some options commented out. The one you want to use so that your head appears is this one. So I'm just going to quickly uncomment this and comment the previous one. There are options to toggle whether you want graves to be able to be broken or exploded by things like TNT or creepers. You can protect graves so that the only person who can access the things inside is the person who died. Then there are more options below such as grave particles, there are sounds you can change when interacting with graves, death messages that you can customize too, you can set which entities can create graves, toggle holograms, enable players to be able to teleport to your graves, toggle whether you need a token in your inventory for graves to spawn, and in general there are just a lot of features and options. Since everything is commented well, just read through the comments and you will be able to understand what these options are. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any tutorial suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.